Hey guys, what's going on? So um, last year I showed you how to make this um, nail file and in that video um, I also demoed the nail clipper blades, okay? And yep, and this is how they work. And these are actually a lot simpler to make than this, okay? Well, they're, they're, they're way simpler, okay? Because yeah, because you don't have to make all these pleats, okay? And uh, yeah, so for the nail file tutorial I have it in the description below, okay? But in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to make these nail, nail clipper blades, okay? Because I never taught these to you. And um, I got a comment on that video saying um, something like, make the nail clipper blades, okay? And alright, so whoever wrote that comment, here they are. And I'm going to show you how to fold them now, okay? Alright, so for, for this model, um, I'm going to use um, a 6 inch square of foil origami paper from Ito and stuff like that, okay, so, like that, alright, so, um, let's begin white side up, and we're gonna fold in half, okay, this is just a super simple model to fold, so, this video is not gonna count as my, um, main videos, okay, that I make on Wednesdays and Fridays, okay, alright, now unfold, and fold the two edges to the crease, okay, Okay, so like this, we have a door base here, okay, and fold them to the, to the crease, to the middle again, okay. This is a super simple model, so if you haven't folded this, now's your chance to try to do it, okay. Alright, so now, um... Let's fold in half, and you kind of have to put your finger in here just to kind of round it off a little bit, okay? So like this, and crease sharply, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to take um, this, and we're going to fold this like that. How, how much, well this is, however much you fold it down, it's going to be the thickness of the, one of the blades, of the blade, okay? So, uh... I'm gonna do it about like that, like this, okay? If you want like narrow blades, fold it up less, but if you want fatter blades, then fold it up, fold it up more, okay? I'm just gonna go somewhere in between, so I'm just gonna go like this, okay? And there is one blade, and repeat that on this side, okay? Now if you want to be exact, then um, you can just kind of take this and fold it like that, and then fold it in like that, and then fold um, this up, well actually, um, I'm gonna do it on this side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the fold align with the edge right here. So like that. There, like that. And now unfold and now let's reverse that crease we just made. Like that. Okay. And now they're both pretty much the same. Okay. Like that. Alright, so now it looks kind of cool like this, but I'm going to show you how to make them like this, okay? So to do that, um, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to fold, this is also to taste, but yeah, probably about like that, it's probably good. Doesn't matter how much, but just about like that, it's probably good. And this side, to make it align with this edge. Okay, like that. And here they are, the nail clipper blades, see, like that, and it is like a claw, so you can use, it, you can use them to grab things, okay, maybe like my origami doodle bug, which I taught right here, or in the description below, okay, but yeah, it's kind of get a, a nice grab, okay, Oh yeah, just like that. So it's like a claw too, okay? So it's an action model. Or maybe my origami wasp. <laughs> this model is really complex. <laughs> I'm not going to show you to make that. But Tadashi Mori made a tutorial for this one time, okay? Uh, yeah, this is kind of heavy. It's kind of big, so yeah. 
Alright, hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys like this model, and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.